Hello guys and gals, and welcome back to more Super Mario RPG. In the last episode, we beat up the Exor guy, and in this episode, we're going to be finishing off, well, hopefully, soon, at least this episode and next episode, probably the next episode, we'll be finishing off the game. Alright, so, let's continue on. This place isn't that long. It's kind of annoying, though, but it's not that bad, honestly. Eh, eh, eh. Good. Okay, that, for those of you who just have to jump out and then move. Save point. Yay. Alright, I'll take it. Not bad. This is called Factory. It's pretty, it, again, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward, actually, for being, like, the last dungeon in the game. I like how this kind of goes back to old Mario, how you, how you had to do this before in, like, the, um, Mario 3. Ugh. These enemies are weird. What the frick? Those enemies are actually cool, like, the, like, the blue guys. I actually like those a lot. Eh. They have, they, they take a lot of damage. Like, like, if you hit them with, like, the laser shell, they take, like, 600 damage. No. No. Damn it. We. I love that it happens. Basically, all that happens is, oh my god, it happened again. What the fuck? That'd be fun. I just do it over and over again. To be honest with you, eh. I got it. I got it. I got it. Eh. There we go. Is this a place? Yes, it is. Um, hello, 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 all the people. Eh, eh. There's so many of them. How am I dodging? Okay. Can I go up there at all? I don't know. I'll find him eventually and show off. Okay, this is actually the last, um, box. The, the last hidden box, except for the one in Mushroom Kingdom, which I said I couldn't get because you only have one chance to get it. So yeah, that's that's the very last of the hidden boxes. I already checked. I only have I only have two left. And that was the last one. So yeah, got them all, guys. Whew. At least I did. well, I got most of them. What's this? Hammer, Ultra Hammer. Even though the laser shell is still better. <laughs> Boing. Um, yeah, pretty much it just kind of gives you Mario's ultimate weapon. Um, you can use it if you want to make the game a little more challenging, but screw that, I'm not doing that. Oop. Alright, let's go down here. And this is actually a boss fight with... Oh god, I hate this thing. It's Mario. It's Mario. How did he get here? We better do something! And here we go, guys. Here is a fight with Countdown. Now, Countdown is an interesting boss because he doesn't attack you randomly. He attacks you in a pattern, which is kind of weird, but, you know, it's all good. Anyways, Countdown. He has 2,400 HP. He's weak to jump and thunder. He has zero attack, 80 defense, 120 magic, and 180 magic defense. He has a lot of moves here, but he doesn't use them all. You know, like he uses them in an order. He has Petal Blast, Aurora Flash, Water Blast, Crystal, Recover, Mega Recover, and Corona. Um, then he has these two things called Dingalings, little Dingalings. Um, they have 1,200 HP each. Um, they're weak to ice. They have 180 attack, 120, um, 120 defense, 20 magic, and 50 magic defense. And they have Dark Star, Fear Willow, which can kill any one of us um, in an instant. Spore Chimes, Doom, Doom Reverb, and Scroll Bell. Um, make sure you kill these guys pretty fast, because, uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Oh god, no, no, no. Oh, there goes Peach. Recover. Yeah, as you can see, it, it goes by certain times. So, like, you know, like, 3 it's three p.m. is time to recover, or whatever. So, you have to make sure, um, like, you know what, what, what he does at what time. I think 7 o'clock is time to recover. Ow. Dark, oh my god, don't use Dark Star on Peach. Don't use Dark Star on anybody. Please miss. Ow. That hurt. That hurt. Do I have the lazy, do I, do I have? Okay, I do have the lazy shell on. I don't know why I have it on. I thought I took it off, but whatever. Alright. Yeah. That's, that's Bowser's max, or his uh, ultimate move, by the way. No. No. Okay. Never mind, I'm good. It's actually crazy that Peach died. No, again? Are you serious? Time for a break, huh? Yeah, and he uses Aurora Flash to put us to sleep, which I, th I think is bad. So this, could, this could end badly. If, um, yeah. I don't understand how a big ass star falling on you doesn't wake you up. I don't understand that. That makes no sense. Time to fully recover. Don't use it on the other one. Okay, good. Okay, um, bring back Peach again. Why does he keep using Fear Roulette on Peach? I don't understand it. Yeah. Scroll Bell. Okay, not bad. Maybe I can dodge against the Fear Roulette. Boop! <laughs> Why 
what? Oh my god, these people are spamming. Like, seriously, dude? Come on. Stop it. Oh, there goes Bowser. Wonderful. Wonderful. And Bowser doesn't, you know, live. I need to kill this one. This one's annoying. Die. Time is marching on. Okay, so when they do a different formation, that's going to do certain attacks. Okay, that makes sense. Bam. 9 a.m., guess I'll break. Okay, so that means, you know, he he's not going to do anything for a turn. So, I think it all it's not all the same. Like, I think, like, 11 o'clock is Pedal Blast or something like that. I don't know. It's annoying, though. But at least you can kind of predict his movement, which is nice, I guess. Now, again, you don't have to kill the ding -a but I'm going to just because I hate them. <laughs> Die. Yeah. There's one down. This one's more... This one actually seems to be more the more annoying one, to be honest. Alright. 12 o'clock. It's high noon. Oh, I guess that means... Okay, that, that's, that's kind of cool. And for some reason, Gino took a lot of damage from Corona. I don't know why he did, but he did. Yeah. Probably take the lazy, sh the lazy shell off her because it's nice, but I mean it's really cheap at the same time. It makes the game not even fun. Oh my God, you're gonna do nothing against me? Okay. One o'clock. Time to play. Crystal. I don't know how that means time to play, but whatever. I'll take it. Zero damage for the win. Um. Hmm. I'll tackle. A whole 76. Amazing. Die. Oh no. Wow. Let's see, 3 o'clock, time to recover. He's gonna recover the bell. Of course he is. Only 170, not bad. We pretty much got rid of that already. <laughs> there we go. Alright, now let's just take care of the freaking guy. He's really not that tough once the dinglings are gone. So, yeah. I mean, even Peach doing 140, come on. Yeah. Five o'clock time for a break. Aurora Flash equals <laughs> full heal with Peach. Wow, Mar oh no, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? We're we'll taking control pad. Okay, I think I did. Yeah, I did sleepy time. Just gonna do anything. I don't even know why I did. I guess I can show it off. But whatever. Big old goat. I don't know why I even did that. Seriously. Time to fully recover. Mario took that down in half of his freaking. Uh, what do you call it? half of his attack is like half like you know yeah you know what I mean yeah that's it it's like you already freaking get rid of it you know you're in good shape when Peach can attack right go <laughs> well I'm hardcore yeah there we go and for some reason only the faith disappears I'm not sure exactly why that is but it is yeah. Nice, 100 coins, 67 experience, not bad, not bad. Alright, so, once that's done, I think there's a boss right after this, I think. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure there is. Because I'm going to take off the Lazy Shell of Peach, because, I mean, even though it's a good item, it's really good. It makes the game too cheap, so I'm going to put the Royal Address on. If you didn't notice, I actually had to play back to where I was um, from before Ma Magiku, but for some reason I didn't say it. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. Worry. Ooh. Places. Oh, this part's fun. Because you actually can fight some uh, Axum Rangers here if you really wanted to. Um, they're kind of like just like mech um, Axum Rangers. I'm probably going to show them off. But uh, basically, you fight either two. Is it. Two, it's like a red, green, and yellow. No, red, green, and pink. Or two, two yellow and two black. So I'll be showing that off in a little bit. Here's some new enemies. This thing is called the Amiiboid. He's pretty easy to kill, honestly. If Peach does 339 damage, you know you're doing good. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> he's easy to kill. But I think he's infinite, so you'll see him forever. Alright, here's some of the arrows you saw. Oh my god. That means... Oh my god, that means that freaking whatever his name is here. Eh. Oh. Folex. Wow. Okay, here's some new enemies. Let's see. The Jebit, the Pounder, and the Poundette. It's like Toad and Toadette for some... I don't know... Oh, never mind. Peach did 334 because she didn't have the lazy shell on. Derp. I'm dumb. Yeah. Alright, these guys are pretty easy from what I've seen. There's, I like how their hammers have eyes on them, though. I think that's kind of funny. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Jump! Yeah, there we go. 
Hey, look at it. There's the freaking uh, guys from Mac. That's kind of funny. And look at there's Mac. What? Where is his madness? Oh my god. And yes, you actually do fight him again if you uh, encounter, you know, if you do it like this. But he he isn't hard. I think he actually has less HP than the regular Mac. Does it play the boss music? It does. That's weird. Yeah, it's just called Machine Mac. I think it's called. Is it? Hold on. Oh, Machine Made. They're all called Machine Made. So, yeah. See how easy he was? Did he have that much? Hold on. I'm on the freaking page. Let me just look. Machine Made Mac had 300, and regular Mac had 400. Okay, that's not bad. Let's do Bowser Crush. I want to show that off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay, okay, so we got that. It's actually a really good way to get experience if you want to level up to max. Um, you know, before the end of the game, that's a really good way to do it. Fighting, you also fight Fake Yardovich, and uh, yeah. Ooh, new enemies. It seems like a recolor of a boo and a hippo. <laughs> a hippo with a spear on top of it. Will he wear spear? I've seen it before. Okay, um, Lil Boo and Hippo, no, Hippo, Hippo, I don't know. <laughs> um, they're all, they're both pretty easy, they both really don't pose any kind of threat, but any, any regular enemy other than freaking Kulix doesn't cause any kind of threat anymore. Except for, I actually did die against, um, Xor, because I didn't have the Lazy Shell on. Because he like, he like Wombo combo me, he did Dark Star over and over again, he did freaking, uh, Corona over and over again, for some reason Gino did, Gino freaking, uh, for some reason got hit like every time he did current did like a hundred damage it was I don't understand why but he did wow almost 600 damage bam why are you missing Bowser why do you suck are you sick okay bam bam yeah all right there we go double your coins no I don't want to all right try and dodge his boo because I don't want to fight him Eh, what is that? Royal syrup? Not bad, I'll take it. Eh, no. Oh. There we go. This part's annoying because there's conveyor belts everywhere, so it's kind of like meh. Ooh, item! Item! What is this? Max mushroom. Nice, I'll take it. Oh my god. Okay. Let's continue on. No, don't fall. Don't fall and don't run into him. Please. Eh. Eh, there we go. We did it. Oh, these, these are the fa uh, fake, uh... What they call it, voyeurs. They're really easy though, because really, you generally will kill him before he even does anything. I forgot how much HP he has. I'll probably die right now. Oh no! Well, shocking, actually. And speaking of shocking, he has lightning orb. Okay, he has. A th oh, he has a thousand HP. How does he have more than Yardovich's man-made? That's weird. Or machine-made. That's kind of odd. Whatever. I think he gives the most. Like, no, he doesn't. Okay, so it doesn't make any sense. Why does? Yardovich's man made only have 800 HP, but this is a thousand, but it only gives 40 experience. What does sense make? Or no, he gets 50. Oh, I'm so confused. My bios thing is so messed up. Whoop. This is the man made Axon Rangers. Uh, duh. There we go. They're kind of hard to dodge, but really, I might just show them off just because, yeah. I want to show them off to you. Yes, yeah, so you're either going to get a uh, red, blue, red, green, uh, pink, or a two blacks and two yellows. But like I said, the machine maids are really easy. It, it kind of makes you wonder, like, if you beat one of them, they're obviously mass making them, so, like, why isn't this world in more turmoil? But whatever. As you can see, they're pretty easy. <laughs> Just kill both the blacks right off the bat. Um, the yellows only have 200 HP, so... Yeah. Kill him! Oh wow, really? I don't even think I got a critical, like, uh... What is it? Not even, not even like, a... Reaction command. <laughs> it's hard to tell with Mario's, uh, what do you call it? With Mario's shells, because, like, he, it doesn't do anything different. Like, with his fists, he punches, like, twice or three times or whatever. But in this game, it's just like, hey... I just... It just, like, makes a different sound. Boodoo? Boodoo. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why I did 50 before. See, I'm telling you, dude, Mario's attacks are weird. 
Okay. Um. Eh. Go go. Whoop. All right. Let's see if we can dodge just one of these boyers. Wait for him to go by and just spam. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, save point. I think I'm gonna call an episode here, guys, because I am running out of time. So, thank you all very much for watching. This is Fear Rising signing off of Super Mario RPG. And have a great day, everybody. I'll see you later.